29th of May 2023. This is a stir the pot and what a fuck moment mixed together. To get any value from this kid mark, you really need to open your mind and try and be objective and realistic. Earlier this morning I listened to a popular South African Afrikaans channel and uh, the presenter referred to the Bloomberg survey about the possibility of an alliance between the DA and the ANC and there was a lot of remarks made and I just listened and I thought about it. I am of the opinion that an alliance between the ANC and the DA is not as far-fetched as many people would like to believe. Look, in, in, it, in essence, the ANC is the majority in South Africa. The DA is the official opposition. And, but the DA does not have enough support or would muster enough support to become the majority. If you think that, you don't have a good grip on realities in South Africa. Just look at our, uh, if you look at the uh, piece of paper that you've got to vote on, there's about 197,000 parties there. And uh, that is a bolsa. But let's look at it objectively. The ANC is a so-called freedom fighter movement that got into power and morphed into a major crime syndicate. That's the reality. The DA is trying to oppose them, but the DA is deeply committed and in debt to the Western globalist WEF cabal. Now, it is important to take note of those two things because that majority of the ANC also represents the majority that supports BRICS and that opposition of the DA is anti-BRICS and supports the WEF. That is important that you keep note of that. But let's look at the practical side of it. Everywhere where the DA has got coalitions to be in power and oppose the ANC, all those municipalities are forever involved in motions of no confidence and crap like that. There's no stability. There's absolutely no stability. And there's a lot of reasons for it and we could make a lot of stories about it. But the reality is the DA with a lot of other minority parties forms a coalition and manage to take control over a municipality. But there's never peace in that municipality. And I've said it a few times in discussions I had, private discussions, that a coalition between the DA and the ANC makes a lot of sense for the simple reason the DA has the managerial skills to make a system work and the ANC has got control over the masses. And that is two points that you must never forget. Now, if you are a dreamer, and I'm a dreamer in many aspects. You can say, yeah, maybe in a coalition like that, the DA will inspire the ANC to adopt common sense and decent administration. But that is, as far as I'm concerned, to be realistic, that is a weird dream. There's always, between those two parties, a lot of political masturbation going on. And that's what it is. Now, 
for us, the ordinary citizens, the WEF globalist cabal is a major threat. And the DA is 100% behind them. Just look at this most recent uh, interview that Stian Eisen, I like to call him, with his moonshot story, I like to call him Shit Shot Johnny from now on. In that interview with Stephen Sacker from the BBC, look at his face. He sits there as if he is the president of I don't know what fucking country, but he mimics Biden and he tries to project his indignation and all that crap. I believe he's got a half a gallon of Vaseline under his chair and all of that doesn't work. Things like that, saying things like what he said there, drives more and more ordinary citizens away from the DA because the pestilence taught us that this globalist cabal is absolutely without conscience. And from the stuff that is getting out now around the pestilence, it is horrific. But the DA is still committed to that. And the other problem that I have is that the, rea the realities of 2023 is that the West is sinking and crumbling and really in deep trouble. The Western economies are going to, I don't want to expand on it, but yesterday we got the news that Germany is now officially in recession. Think about that for Europe. Germany is a financial backbone of Europe. Yeah, there's a lot of guys that come and say, yeah, but that, that, that. that's the reality. The German industries form the backbone of Europe. That is gone now. But here in South Africa, we sit with this situation that it is proven just now in Joburg how many mayors in the past three months there. Look at the chaos in Tuare. Everywhere. Now I see the guy in uh, Nelson Mandela Bay once again standing on a banana peel. It never stops. And in the meanwhile, nothing happens. No service delivery. Nothing. No maintenance, no infrastructure, nothing. And exactly the same thing is currently happening with the national government. So, a coalition between the DA and the ANC makes sense in the sense that you have, on the one hand, access to good management and on the other hand, control over the masses. Because if in 2024, it so happens that a DA coalition with smaller parties can upset the ANC and take control of a government. There will not be one day of stability in South Africa. The ANC and the EFF will make sure of that. So get that pipe dream out of your mind. This morning a woman on one of my videos made the comment that she's going to unsubscribe from the channel because I don't support the UIM and I talk against Neil De Beer and all that. And I said to her, thank you. The reality is those parties are meaningless in the grand scheme of things. Meaningless. The major parties that can make a difference is the DA, uh, Action SA, Gaten McKenzie in a way, Freedom Front Plus. They are the guys that can make a difference. But I'm sorry, I don't think they're going to get the support that is needed to make a real difference. Now you're going to say to me, okay, 
how are we going to get out of this? My opinion has been made many times. This republic must break up. This republic must break up in 9, 10, 12, 14 independent states. That is how we can avoid the nightmare scenario of a DA-ANC coalition. That is it. That's the only way I see. Because in this big republic, we're not going to get out of this government disaster by voting for another party in 2024. The vote is not going to get us out of this shit. I believe and I have the opinion and I have voiced it many times that the load shedding fiasco at ESCA is going to pull the government down. And if you look at the general comments in the media in the past few days, the ANC is in panic. They know that they're losing support now. And to make matters worse, we've got now this issue with the cholera. And just for interest sake, in the 70s I had a very good friend in Pretoria and she was a microbiologist. She worked with the CSS IR. And one night we were sitting and having dinner and chatting and she said to me, that the world is very nervous about viruses. But the reality is, humanity can be wiped out by bacteria. And she said, just six inches below the soil surface, you can find bacteria that if it is ever released, it will wipe populations out. Long before there can be any form of medication for it. And I thought a lot about that. And when I listened to all the stories around the cholera now, this cholera thing can really get out of hand very quickly. Because to stop something like that, is you must get the population away from the contamination. And how do you do that? With tons of shootings running down the streets, tons of shootings dumped into our rivers, the Fall River is now infected with cholera. Shortly we're going to hear about cholera in the Northern Cape. And, uh, it's, it is a major disaster brewing. And unfortunately, the ANC does not have the ability to understand the basic principle of appointing people according to merit. No. They first of all look at loyalty to the ANC. Second of all, they look at the political connections around that person. And that's why we sit with a cabinet like we have. It's not a cabinet that. It's a box of bananas. And the people takes it. Unless South Africans realize that their future is basically hanging by a thread in the hands of this corrupt ANC and they do something about it. We're going to have a lot of shit. Yesterday there was a guy that posted on Twitter about the problem with the immigrants and that the Im illegal immigrants must be moved out of South Africa and I said to him, listen, we the white Afrikaners drove the British invaders out of our country and we shed a lot of blood in the process. Now today we don't have the numbers. It is now up to you black people to step up and get these migrants out of our country. This is your fight. And I got some interesting responses to that. But the reality is, when you hear someone say coalition ANC DA, do not allow your instincts to make you respond. Think about the practicalities. And as I said, the reality is 
Any coalition between 940 parties to keep the ANC out will never work. They will forever be fighting to stay in control and pay no attention to what must be done to the country. Think about that. Because the ANC has got enough influence to make the country ungovernable. And if they are confronted with the reality that they have lost power, that is exactly what they're going to do. So, on this Monday, think about this and ask yourself, what the fuck must we do? I say, break up the Republic. And on that fun note, please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing.